Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we're going to be talking about Neo Caradina Shrimp Tank water changes. Right, so we're going to do a water change in one of my big tanks down the bottom. We're going to go over everything I do, any supplements I add to the water. And we're also going to add some new filtration to the tank as well because uh, my shrimp are breathing like crazy in this tank on the bottom down here. And so are the snails and it's, uh, I think it's just too much for the part minute filter. Let me bring you down here so you can see. But before we get onto that guys, I just want to remind you that if you watch to the end of the video, there will be a code word that will enable you to maybe win a packet of Nettle Mix if uh, you write that in the comment section. Right? So bear that in mind when you watch my videos, if you watch to the end, often there will be some kind of secret code word in there that you have to mention in the comments. And I'll randomly pick people to win some packets of food. Huh? Sounds like a good deal. Right, guys, as Keep I said, watching. here is our sal salty mineral GH. KH Plus. This is what I use for all my Neo Cardina tanks, uh, for my Tiger tanks. Uh, I don't think I use it in anything else. I can't think of anything else. Uh, my crayfish tub, I also use it. Um, and I know the amount I need to put in my little tub. This tub is 26 litres, roughly. That's how much water we'll get out of it. And I always write in the top my target TDS here. You guys will have heard me say this over and over and over. And um, I just happen to know the exact amount I have to put in this tub. Uh, to get this TDS right so you guys it will might be different for you that's what I'm saying right so open your tub make sure your plastic lid is there if it's not you might have uh, issues with water ingress on your uh, salts right so for me specifically we need three of these little flat scoops three level flat scoops right so there you go that's one I'll show you guys the tub in a second as well, it's just a little bit hard for me to film stuff. Flat level, two. Right, and it doesn't matter guys with the Neo Cardina specifically, um, if your TDS goes a little bit over, like I'm okay if it's over 200. Three, so that's three scoops into roughly 26 litres of water. Remember and put your little plastic lid back on first, so it doesn't get all stuck together with the condensation humidity in the room that's why it's in there in the first place um, and then I use my little stick here to give it a good stir right so this water has been sitting in here for 24 hours and um, I, I think I did a water change yesterday in some of these tanks over here you may have seen that video already where I set up these tanks that's where that water has went to so this was fresh water yesterday um, zero parts per million because I use um, a DI resin as well to clean up my water supply a little bit more and you guys will do if you use tap water, right? So this is not a tap water video, this is an RODI video. I'm using pure reverse osmosis water, right? If, if you guys want to keep shrimp and you want to further keep shrimp eventually in the future as well, it is worth you investing in a good reverse osmosis unit, right? So I give my little mixture a little stir like this. Literally, guys, for 15, 20 seconds, something like that. And this stuff does, it makes us faster compared to... Uh, the Sulawesi uh, powders I have as well, the mineral powders, this stuff mixes way, way faster. It's almost instant. Right, so you give it a mix, like so. And I also have oxygen going in here. Right? I'm going to actually bring you over here because I know you've just been looking at a blank screen, not my beautiful face. I'll bring you over here so you can see for yourself. Right, as I said, One this is my tub here, 26 litres. Um, auto shut off valve here, so as soon as this is emptied, it will refill again. I always have a circulation pump in here. I'm actually going to change this uh, metal clip I have here because I noticed there was some little bits of rust flakes falling off into the water, right? So this is going to be changed to a plastic one. Um, the water just always continuously flows like this. We have our air going in with an air stone. Plastic pipe, dual purpose. I use it to uh, feed my shrimp as well. Good management, guys. You've got to try and get m one more than one use at one thing. So once this is done, let's go over, let's see what it says. Momentos of truth, right? So I think on that tub I have uh, written down 192. Let me put it in because I actually figured this out after um, doing this in another video. that I, I can actually just press hold here, so if you guys can't see it, just to show you. I never ever thought about that before, right? So... You guys can probably see it says 196, so that is as near as damn it good enough for us for this. And so this is my Neo Carada 
Neo Carada, my Neo Caradina water setup. Okay, that water is now good to go. The water that is in there and this little thing here as well. Let me see if I could if this works as well for the temperature, just to give you guys an idea how warm the water is. Because that will work as well. Temperature 23.1. Oh, I switched it off instead of pressing hold, my bad guys. Not used to using the hold function. 23.1, which is okay for this front room. I think the other tanks and stuff are like 24 degrees, but this is it's just been in here for one day with a little bit of circulation, so that's probably why there's a difference. Okay, so next we're going to go on to our uh, water being siphoned from the tank. I might have to do it in parts just because the tank is on the floor. Let me show you right now. Okay guys, we have our water siphon here. You can see the level of the tank right and This is why it's uh, a little bit awkward for me to do this sometimes on camera. I do plan to take out 20% water change uh, volume on my tanks. So that's 20% water on my tanks from now on on my Neo Caradina tanks. Just be simply because guys, there is such a large volume of animals um, in my Neo Caradina tanks. I need to do that a little bit more water changing anyway right so um, let's get started siphon as always there you go I didn't want to splash it all over the place right so um, I'll try and get near as damn 10 liters of water out of this this time here and then the next one it will be less it'll be like five liters and then I'll have to take five liters out again there's just no way I'm gonna get 20 liters of water out when the tank is this close to the ground right so now the other thing that we're going to do today guys is as well I'm actually going to add another filter to this tank let's have a little look at it while we're waiting this is a, a big big aqua L filter um, it's a hang on back filter as well let's have a little look at it. maybe we'll actually you know what I'll do guys right is this part is quite boring you don't want to watch water being filled up here right so we'll just jump to the next part of the video here where all this water will be out we'll be putting our water in and uh, I'll show you this filter because it'll be so easy. that is our 20% water taken out of this tank we're going to add it back in hopefully I won't knock over the camera because uh, you guys are in the way a little bit today let's get this over here straight into the tank like this and um, there should be enough water for this today, right? So that's a good water change for this. While we're sitting here waiting on it uh, filling up, I thought we'd take a look at this Aqua L Pat Mini Filter that we're going to install in this tank today. This is one I actually got from um, Aqua L that was meant to go in another tank and there simply wasn't enough room. So let's have a little look. First impressions. Instructions. It's a very large filter actually. Very, very large filter. I'm not really one for instructions on anything at all. Uh, the first problem I see is this uh, sponge filter here isn't shrimp safe, this one at all. You can see, if, if you look through it, you could probably just make out that it isn't shrimp safe. There's the, the pores, the DPI is far, far too big. Um, uh, so we'll fix that as well. There seems to be a couple of why would there be two of these in here? This is there's two of these parts here. Hmm. I think that might be a mistake, guys. Actually, I think there's meant to be an extension here that goes on like this, and then another part. I think th this has been shipped with the wrong thing. Oh well, no, maybe not. It actually fits over the top. My bad. My bad, Aquel. My bad. Right. So we'll be able to use two of these. Let's push them on. You know, one of the first things I notice as well, guys, is this uh, motor housing here. Uh, the reason you do not see a lot of uh, hang and back filters in my tanks is because I have had them leak before. I've had two before that have leaked from the motor housing, so check that out. The motor housing is actually part of the hub filter, so it cannot leak from here, which is absolutely amazingly good. Well thought out. Let's get this thing open and see what's in, like inside as well. So we have... Uh, a maximum minimum thing on here for the flow it's pretty cool let's have a look inside seems to be two trays this come out first I've never looked in this so I don't know what's inside 
let's see. Doesn't want to come up. Maybe these trays come up first. Oh. And so these are filled with a very coarse sponge. Let's open this up and have a look. Yeah, this is this is a this is a good sponge that's in here. It's actually quite a. Uh, this is a better sponge than the one that's actually on the intake, so that is good. Nothing else in the little basket, but you could probably put um, other types of uh, filtration media in there. Let's push it back in. We're just going to go with what's here already because that's already quite a bit more filtration than I have in my tanker. So there's one of the baskets. The motor housing is further down. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you guys this here as well. Let's take this out. Oh, that, that is something new. I've never seen this before. The motor housing It's actually... Oh, look at that. You can take it out. That is unique. I've never seen that on a hub filter before. And it's completely sealed, so it cannot leak anywhere. That is uh, quite amazing. Well done, Aqua L. Let's put that back in there. We're going to add in our... I don't know if these need to go in first, or this does, or if it matters. It doesn't look like it matters at all. Doesn't matter, but I'll do it this way. So this goes in the top. Fingers crossed as well, guys. I didn't really think about this. I hope this uh, gap here is wide enough because this tank actually has a metal rim. Please, if there is a god, let it fit because I don't want to mess around with stuff today. Right, so that is down, both of them. That's quite a lot of extra filtration. Again, it's up to you if you want to add extra stuff to this. Let's have a little look at this uh, intake again because we are going to have to do something with this. Yeah, it is. You could probably see through this. This is fine for fish, but it's not really good enough for shrimp because the baby shrimplet will get sucked straight through this sponge. Right, I have um, had to change some of my filters on my Pat Mini filters from this to the round type. I just happen to have one up here like this. I've had to change them to this before. I wonder if we can get this to fit on here. Even if it's just this much, because uh, then we'll have a shrimp safe sponge on it. Yeah, it's fitting no problem. Fitting no problem. But the only issue with this is there's a hole in the bottom of this sponge. Right, so we have to... Let me see, do I have a cable tie up here? I do. To cable tie the end. Cable tie is one of your best friends in any kind of shrimp room, fish room environment. I'm going to go two up on the sponge just to make sure it doesn't slip off. Draw it tight, that will not come off. No. Right, so I'm cable tying the sponge, the end bit, just so nothing can get into it. There you go, you see, you see. A pair of scissors. Right, and because of the lighting and stuff on this as well, I'm actually going to have to put the filter on this front edge here. Because um, I can't get into the sides very easily on this, this thing. And the lights and stuff are in the way, right? So let's get this over here. Let me just check to make sure you guys can see. If you can see past my humongous belly. Yeah, you should be able to see this. All right, so... One of the issues I've, I've been thinking about there again, you, you guys heard me say it, was this gap here. It, it's actually very wide. It is an actual, actually quite a wide gap. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't go all the way over the metal rim, but I think we might get away with this actually. Let's see, does this come out? There's a little thing here that pushes the glass, pushes the unit at an angle like that, which is what we want, because we, we might have to run this on this rim here. Which I'm not a fan of, actually. Because if the water sits on the rim, it might go down the rim where it joins and down the side of the glass panel. Yeah, I want to get this set up and running, so we're going to put this little thing in here. Thing above Bob Jiggy. And remember, guys, as well, I mean, this is sitting near the front. But it's not exactly mega in the way for me. We'll see, we'll see how this goes because if there's if there's a way that the water goes in and if it comes back on itself and sits on this metal rim, I'll have to remove it from the tank. 
because it just will not work. Right, so I think next we should, uh, let me see, what does this say, maximum, minimum? I have no idea. Maybe up and down, maximum, minimum. Maximum, so I want it to face to the front. Let's get that in here. It's a nice little filter, actually. Nice, nice little filter. Right, so let's get it plugged in. I think I need to fill this first before we... Uh, switch it on though because uh, the motor will be spinning in the air it won't suck anything right so i'm going to fill this with water and i'll be right back guys um fingers crossed this works flawlessly and there's no water come come back here or onto the rim or nothing like that because uh that would be a major pain in the butthole i tell you what the shrimp absolutely <laughs> love that sponge filter that we just put in let me quickly move you over so you can see more of them on it so this is why I'm having to add extra filtration in here, because there's bazillions of painted fire reds. Let's get this filter started. Let's get this party started. Whoop whoop. Alright, hopefully you can still hear me because I actually dropped part of the microphone into that little glass of uh, water there. Let's plug you in. Plug you in, turn you on. I don't know if I can reach without... <laughs> Oh, can I not reach? Are you kidding me? No, I can't reach. Oof. All right, let's see. We have put it in. We might have to wait on this to see if uh, if there's enough water in the tank for it to start pumping properly already. There might not be. There might as well be. There might be. There might not be. But there is already. Well, it's quite. that's quite the flow coming out of this thing. I'm quite surprised at that actually. That is quite the flow. I don't know if, if this tank is a little bit squint or... We will see. I'll have to keep an eye on the edges like we said. This might get better actually once uh, it is up and running for a little while. Let's quickly turn this. I'm not sure if you guys can see any of this. Alright, so that is definitely off that way. This is on full this way. My tank is probably squinting. That's probably why it's all coming out. That is. It's all coming out one side a little bit more than the other side. But that's a good thing because I want the water to come out away from this corner in the joint. Right, so let's get this on here. This will, of course, be more efficient once the tank actually fills up a little bit more as well. We still have a good 15, 20 litres of water to go in here. Um, what I'm going to do next, guys, as well is I'm actually going to feed the tank right at the front here so you guys can see it because the tank is literally just filling up with water. Mega boring, right? So we are going to uh, feed the tank right at the front here. You will get some macro footage just to see how many lovely, beautiful uh, painted fire reds are, are actually in here. Let me quickly show you the flow as well because it's quite impressive. The flow will also get stronger once uh, the water level comes up. You see it? Now I'm taking it that my tank is a little bit squint. The flow might not be ultra level because it's coming to one side and not the other side. You see it? Which I don't mind. This, this is the issue I was telling you guys about here is this metal rim. You see it? But that already is like infinitely better the amount of flow because this tank badly needs it There's probably five six hundred painted fire reds in here and 20 voracious eaters called marissa snails and just plow through everything you've probably seen bits of floating plants move around in the tank as well so let's get some food in and uh, let's see what they see okay guys before we go we're going to put the food in the tank the magic code word for this video will be algae wafer. Now that's all you need to say in the comment section below to be in with the chance of winning a packet of nettle mix. Let's feed this tank and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy shrimp keeping.